Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the link below. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Ooh, hello there. Um, yeah, before I forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't gone to PeonyLaneDesigns.com, see this down here? Check out the website, make sure you go over there, subscribe for my email newsletter, and you'll be up to date on all the latest videos and blog posts. But today, we are going to use Rust-Oleum Chalked in Linen White. Now, I've used Rust-Oleum Chalked, but only in the spray. This is the first time I'm going to be using chalked paint. And it's not a chalk paint, it's not a true chalk paint, it is definitely a latex paint with a chalky finish. Um, but we're gonna give it a try on a kid's chair today and we're gonna find out if it's any good. I got a bunch of stuff over here, so I just finished this table. There's that wedding, this wedding dress is getting a uh, repair, cleaning and all that good stuff. So you're not gonna wanna forget to subscribe right there, that little corner piece. Because if you don't subscribe to the channel, you're not going to see how that turns out and that turns out. Well, you will if you go to the website, peonylanedesigns.com. Um, go to the website to see what we've got going on over there. And uh, I will definitely update these projects here. So this project is just, it was a repair and it's going back into the shop. The top got damaged by a customer. Mm -hmm. By a customer. And then I had a customer come in with a nasty, drippy Dairy Queen cup and they left it on top of the damn thing. I'm like, and it was chalk paint. Wax. And I'm clear coating it this time. Sometimes customers suck. <laughs> if you're one of those people who would leave your nasty Dairy Queen cup on a table, shame on you. Anyway, we're gonna get this shaking up. So first thing you wanna do is any kind of paint and. The reason I said it's not a true chalk paint is because if you look at the back, it's got the precautions and all that stuff, but it's basically latex. It is a latex paint. Priming is not required, it says, but the piece that we're going to be working on, I definitely want to give it a good sanding. Um, two things. So first of all, there's a weird textured pattern on the chair, and I'll show you that in a minute. And also, sanding gives the paint that you're putting on something to grip onto. So don't groan at me when I say you should definitely give it a little scuff and a sand. Um, people, people are really irritated by that, but I think if you have a piece that you want to last for a good long time, you want to take that extra step. You're never going to be sad that you over-prepared a surface. You will be sad that you under-prepared a surface, I guarantee it. There's going to come a time when you're going to be like, not sticking. I wish I would have. Wish I would have. Now you got rework. So we're going to avoid rework. Good to note about this paint. Okay. It says that it is definitely for interior use only. So if you're going to be using the chalked paint, uh, don't use it on a piece that's going to be sitting outside. In that case, this is not going to be sitting outside as far as I know. I mean, I can sell it to somebody and they're going to do whatever they want with it. Sounds like paint. <laughs> that was a stick. I'm going to give it a little stir. I shake it and I stir it. This is my husband's a professional painter, artist, person. And he taught me that if you dip down and pull up while you stir, it gets the stuff off the bottom. So that's what I'm doing while I mix. Just a little tip from him to you. It's pretty. So here it is, it's white. It's pretty white. It's a, it's a hospital white. It is bright, 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 bright white. Uh, let me get you flipped around here so you can see the chair. Here's the chair we're gonna be working on. As you can see, I paid $5.99 for it at Treasure Chest. And you probably were on that thrift run with me, but these hearts have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure somebody thought they were adorable at the time, uh, probably sometime in the 90s, but that was very popular in the 90s, the carts on everything. It is dirty, it is chipped, it was white to begin with, but it is definitely not the same color white. This is much more of an off-white than 
uh, the white that we're gonna be putting on it. So we'll see about the one coat coverage, but let's get it prepped and ready to go here. First thing first, ah, goes a price tag. Okay, first things first, we're gonna give it a little bath and get all the dust and dirt and grime off this thing. And I'm just using a Dollar Tree washcloth. So when my, my kid was little, she loved all these little ones that you throw in the water and expand. Well, when they're done loving those up, you can use them as rags. And they make great painting rags. Looks like somebody spilled coffee on the darn thing. It wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. Okay, I chose to use, I'm choosing to use a brush. This is a purdy one inch. One inch? Two inch. One inch. I don't know, it's this one. Uh, only because there's a lot of little nooks and crannies, so I don't want to roll this one. I'm gonna have to let this dry. Didn't use that much water on it. Still feels wet. Oh, I'm waiting for that to dry. I also have this. So this is just going to be like a welcome sign. I pick these up when I see them. Same place that I got the chair. This one was $1.99. So I pick up the pine boards and then I make signs out of all my stencil signs for the shop. This is gonna get white too. So we're gonna try it on raw wood and then the previously painted. Um, I'm guessing the raw wood is gonna soak it up pretty good. So let's try that first. My first impressions are it's latex. Ooh. So it goes on nice. Like a typical latex paint. This I should have probably rolled, but I got the brush out, so we're using the brush. Let's see if I can get you guys closer so you can see. It is exactly what I expect from a latex paint as far as putting it on. It doesn't feel like a chalk paint. It definitely feels like a latex paint. It's going on like a latex paint. Chalk paints get tend to get sticky because they dry really quick. This is not sticky. So that's nice. That's a nice benefit. I hate the chalk paint drying while you're not even done yet. It's like, really? It starts to get sticky almost immediately. I hate that. Um, wow, it's actually covering really good. We'll have to see how it dries. Take a look at that. It's not soaking in like I thought it would. That's pretty good for a pine board, an unfinished pine board. There's a spot I missed right here, but other than that, I mean, it's not covering really good. So I'm gonna set this aside, let that dry to, to get the second coat. And we're gonna go after this chair. Lay it down pretty nice. Oh, it's pretty bright, bright white. You can see that difference in the white immediately. Oh, I love when things get a fresh coat of paint and it looks so nice. I forgot to sand it. <laughs> well, we're gonna check and see how it preps. Um, Damn! Okay. I got excited. I forgot to sand it. So now we're going to test it out as far as... If you really don't have to prep a surface, I guess. Um, well, I'm coming with fail. Oh, it looks so pretty. So clean. So clean. So clean. Let's cover the pink. Let's see it. Oh, nice work, nice work, nice that. Ah. Gonna need a couple coats there.
What should you wear when you're painting white? All black, of course. Smart, right? Mm. Okay, I want to talk about the coverage. So, as you can see, the little hearts still show up. So they say it's one coat coverage. I took this piece, which was a light yellow, and painted it. This is one coat, so not one coat coverage, even on a really light surface. And this is the raw wood, which is actually pretty good, but still not one coat coverage. So even on white, yellow, and raw wood, not one coat coverage, because I have um, some little bits of the white here that are uh, still showing through the off-white color. <sighs> so I'm gonna say no as far as one coat coverage. So far, if, unless your surface is already pretty pristine white, you're not gonna get one coat coverage. I mean, obviously on a dark color, not at all. On a super light yellow, not at all. And on raw wood, kinda, but really needs a second coat for sure. So, nope. Okay, I'm at several days later. These are all dry now. So everything that I painted on the video is dry. And my impressions of the chalked paint after having, I had not used this one, as I said earlier. I had not used the uh, jar or the paint can, the can, the can of paint. I've only used the chalked spray. So my impressions after using this is, I kind of love it. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a latex paint, but what I like about it is the coverage. Like this only took two coats to cover those bright pink hearts. I honestly thought it was going to take more than that. And uh, forgive me, Rust-Oleum, but I really didn't think this was going to cover that well. <laughs> Being that it is so bright. I mean, you can tell, look how bright the white is. It is stunningly bright white. It's a hospital white. And I thought for sure those pink hearts were going to be like, ah, they're going to stay. And they're gone. Two coats, two coats, two coats. So the raw wood really, really surprised me. And I like it so much that I painted a couple pumpkins. I can pop them up here so that you can see them. Um, and I got a table that you're actually sitting on right now. The camera's sitting on right now that I, I plan on painting with this. So I kind of fell in love with it. I'm not gonna lie, I like the finish. It's that ultra matte finish without having to do any extra top coat, which the biggest pet peeve of people online is that when they paint white, they put a coat, clear coat on top and it yellows the white. Here we have a bright, stunning white that doesn't need a top coat. It is done. It is protected. It's got its own protection here. So I'm, I'm really, really surprised. It doesn't say top coat, does it? Nope. Does not say you need a top coat. And I think if you are wanting to paint white furniture and you like that chalk paint look, this is a really good option. Um, I did not sand this and it seems to be holding on I don't know, I haven't really abused it in any way. I am hoping it stays put. I can always update you guys later if it doesn't. But I was really surprised and I kind of fell in love with it. Um, I'm going to be using this <laughs> a lot, a lot. Um, I have a lot of chalk paint of my own since I was a, I used to sell chalk paint that I need to get through, but it's, I'm out of white in the chalk paint, I will be using this white going forward. This is amazing coverage, especially on the raw wood. Like I said, these pumpkins, that the stems on these pumpkins are traditional chalk paint. And as you can see with the chalked paint, it doesn't look any different than the chalk paint that's on top, except the stems have not been protected in any way. So I know those will scratch off. Um, 
Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's better than gold right now. I am so grateful to all my new subscribers. Hi, new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click the little button down there. And if you want to get your Happy Junkin' or Junkin' Buddy t-shirts, make sure you click the links below. I also have the new t-shirts, which are the, uh, this one. You had me at Junkin' with the wonderful uh, vintage truck on it. And we also have the Super Junker t-shirt for those of you who like the superhero look. And if you haven't yet gone to peonylanedesigns.com, don't, don't forget to go over there and sign up for my email newsletter. I have some wonderful bonuses for those of you who do. And as always, happy junkin' everyone. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.